Hey there, engineering fans. Today, we're diving into the world of hydraulic cylinders. Let's get started. Hydraulic cylinders convert hydraulic energy into linear motion using Pascal's law, where pressure applied to a confined fluid pushes out equally in all directions. You'll find hydraulic cylinders everywhere, in your car's braking system, construction excavators, car jacks, and a multitude of applications where powerful force is needed to lift, push, or press. Let's break down a typical lifting cylinder's anatomy. The main body is often steel, though more portable versions may be manufactured from high-grade aluminum. The body houses a piston that transfers linear movement to the load. Inside, many single-acting cylinders are powerful springs that return the plunger back to its starting position. Bearings on the plunger keep it stable and prevent damage if there's side loads, while specialized seals keep the hydraulic fluid in and the dirt out. At the top, you'll find the saddle. These are usually made from hardened steel to handle the intense forces involved. Speaking of force, these systems can generate incredible pressure, up to 10,000 pounds per square inch. To put that in perspective, that's 20 times more than the pressure in the average car tire. This immense pressure and power is why proper safety protocols and personal protective equipment are absolutely essential when working with hydraulic cylinders. That's it. Hydraulic cylinders in a nutshell. Thanks for watching.